Good morning everybody, Uncle Joey Jojo here. We are on one of the apartment buildings in the heart of Melbourne. We've been called in for a specialist job. What has happened is the wind is coming straight off the bay and blowing out all of the hot water systems. So we've got to do something about it. What, if I can just say before we move on, what a beautiful view, check this out. All the way around. How's that sky view of Melbourne? Imagine when you see the sun, this is west over here. Imagine when the sun comes down over there. So, this facing over here is our bay, and that's facing south, southwest. So all of our wind is coming in from this direction. Over here what we've got is our guard from the wind coming across this way, and it's been made out of cement sheet or compressed sheet which is 12 about 15 mil thick and it's a non-flexible board so compressed sheet is actually cement basically it's compressed together and you can see it's been it's it's a product that has no flexibility put onto a frame that has no flexibility which needs to have flexibility when you are setting something up for the environment that it's in, you need to make sure that it works with the environment. Frank Lloyd Wright, an amazing architect, once created buildings that were designed by the plants that grew in that area. So he'd take a flower from uh, the desert and he'd design a house based on that flower. Amazing architect, amazing way to do architecture and to be building in our environment. So, over here, what we've got to do is we've got to get this, this is all going to break and crack. We don't have much freedom whatsoever to bring up extra materials up here. Um, being 30 odd floors, 39 odd floors up in the air, we're not going to have the ability to bring up ply sheeting or something that's got a bit of flexibility to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pre-cut and pre-make everything to bring up here. The only way that we can see that we need to do it is if you step this way, the only thing that we can do is board up this side with uh, some timbers that are going to be flexible, screw it from the other side and then put a cover strap the whole way through. But as you can see around here, this is where all of our hot water systems are and this is what's getting blown out. So what we've got to do is reduce the amount of wind that comes through, allow the wind to come through um, naturally and then to make something or create something that allows the actual structure to move with the wind. The power of the wind is one of those things that we need to work with whenever we're in a high rise area or if you're on the coastline of something such as uh, Malta or Spain or, or Italy and Sicily. If you take a look over here you can see how and why we weren't able to um, get any materials up the sides. We've got nowhere to get the materials up the sides, all of this, all the way around. 36 floors up. Look at that. So no wonder we couldn't get any materials up here. Over on this roof here, you can see we've got our hot water systems, and then we've got a, a system that runs all the way around that allows the wind to run through it and it's allowing the wind off the bay to smoothly run around all of the amenities up on the roof. Good thinking.